Welcome back to my Let's Play for Magical Star Science. Time to make our way to the Starway, which leads to hell on Earth, because let's face it, there's nothing on the Dark Planet that's really alive in a sense we'd actually enjoy. There's no civilizations there, just monsters. Um, and some pretty powerful ones at that. Yeah, this is the Starway they're talking about, the Starway to Hell. Or Heaven. Depends on how you want to look at it, I suppose. But yeah, this is an amazing piece of technology, at least. It can transport us directly to the Dark Planet. Yep, it takes us through a pocket universe or something like that. It's cool. Yeah, we want to use to go over to the Dark Planet, because we have to go over there. We gotta stop the worm that's eating the inside of the sun, after all. Cool beans? Uh, trying to sound British or something? Didn't I already say yes? Don't make me repeat myself needlessly, game. Seriously. I don't want to have to say yes multiple times to the same question. Oh, shoot. Something's going on with it. Hmm. That's bad. Yeah, seriously, we've come way too far to let a little hiccup get in our way. Seriously, don't do that. You're in a matter transporter. You step off that thing now, you'll probably be split in half or something. <laughs> Exactly. I was right, you will be split in half. That suck. I'll probably end up leaving this top half behind, to be honest. Uh, you better sort this out. I don't want to die here. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Killed by a matter transporter. Be the laughing stock of tr Star Trek. Jeez. Struggling to find the words there. Uh, yes, yes, we have to hang tight, Beak Feller, while you give your evil speech. Jeez, you're monologuing. Seriously. If you're gonna do it, just do it. You know what they say in the oral words of Aisha Clan Clan? You shouldn't say anything when you're about to finish someone off. It's very problematic if you don't. Um, if you don't say anything, you'll actually win. If you say something, you get caught doing it. Just look at the Incredibles. Seriously, your griping ain't gonna help. You're just gonna have to hang tight and hope someone comes in to save our sorry bacon. Ah, uh, he's powering up his attack. Shoot. Uh, unfortunately, he can't turn it off while we're in it like this, at least. Shoot. Yeah, I know what's coming. Seriously. I'll deal with the worm when I get to it. I'm gonna have to deal with Kale and his madness first. Then comes because of an idiot king with his foolish subjects. I'd be more worried about the robots than I am about the foolish king of the wind plant, to be honest. Considering the robots are going to cannibalize everyone in the entire universe to sustain themselves if we don't fix the sun. Ah, someone came to our rescue, at least. That explosive um, experience is pretty familiar to us if we've been paying attention to this game before. Yep, fairness here to save the day. Thanks for that. Don't touch that. Seriously. This is a sensitive device. Screw around with it carelessly, you'll end up getting stuffed in the two different dimensions. I don't know how to fix that. That's good. Yes, yes we are. Oh shoot. He's activated his self-destruct. Why would he have a self-destruct anyway? It's probably stuffed inside his shell. Hmm. In him? Seriously. Isn't it obvious? <sighs> A dimensional bomb? Why earth would he need that? Like, even if you're gonna make yourself a suicide um, outfit, why earth would you build a bomb that can shatter dimensions themselves? <laughs> Like, when did you decide, oh, I'm going to need this someday? Maybe. Ah, <sighs> uh, he's being appointed the new chief. Isn't that obvious? Durham's going to make up for all his past mistakes and carry the bomb away with himself. 
He'll save us at the cost of his life. A noble end, considering, you know, what jerk he was before. Well, I suppose he did try to make up for it. He really did change. She will be. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He was at the center of a dimensional bomb, after all. We can't afford to go back. I mean, if we could, I wouldn't want to. It's not cold heart, it's only logical. We can at least fulfill his um, request. Yep. Hmm. Yep, I'm going to. I'll leave the pots behind. I don't really need those just yet. Though creating this warp point might be helpful. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can you just get to the end of your spiel? The more I see this guy, the more I really start to hate him. Seriously. It wasn't annoying at first, but now it really gets underneath my skin. Seriously, that's a good reward. Three red frogs, some money I don't need. Thanks, game. But yeah, there's some definitely powerful monsters here, so prepare for some tough fights. Or prepare to run away a lot, either or. And hope you don't take too much damage. I'm carrying enough items I can cure myself, though, so it's not too big of a concern. But I can't remember if these guys are magic resistant at the moment or not. Looks like they might be. Prepare to dive! Well, let's see how effective this is. Ah, on comes the darkness, huh? Problem is, most of these characters don't really specialize in, um, punching things. Makes sense, after all, they are witches and wizards. There's no point in specializing in throwing a punch if you can cast magic. <sighs> well, that ought to finish this one off, at least. Sort of remind me of the units in um, Breath of Fire 2 that have really high defense. They only take, like, one damage at a time, but they only have, like, two or three hit points. Okay, that stung a bit. I'll, I'll give you that one. Well, let's see about raining some fireballs on them. Maybe we can come down with them sheer numbers of attack. Well, let's try to tackle. Yeah, punching them out is probably the way to go. Oh, we got a goblin array? That's cool. At least I don't have to worry about them touching you if they hit my main character. Ah, the space police. Well, hopefully they're on our side for a change. Man, they're the elite, huh? Well, that's not too scary. In my experience, the elite troops are not that much better than the regular troops. Ah, shoot, it's a scarecrow. Now that really is scary. Okay. Let's tail swipe this sucker. Now to rain some death on them. I'm not sure how much this will really help, but let's do it. It might take out the goblin. Though it doesn't look very um, traditional at all, does it? If only I was in the back, darn it. Then I could hit more targets. 
That would probably help right about now. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Um, we'll go after this one. Shoot, watch it again. Well, it's still good enough to win. Well, partially blocked it, at least. Probably gonna want to heal up after that, though. Probably use up the cheap frogs, though. Save the good stuff for later. Hmm, what sort of experience we getting out here? Ah, like one-fifth of the level, gotcha. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want to do some power grinding again, then. Okay, get moving. As long as they don't touch um, the main character, I don't have to worry about the enigmas at least. You can fight them though. It's good experience actually, I think. I don't remember if they drop any really rare items though or not. They're basically just a bunch of mid-boss fights, and most of them, if I remember correctly, respawn. Not all, but the bulk of them respawn back in. So you can kill them over and over and over again. If you're inclined. Too early. I was too early. Eh, that's alright. I'll give this one a kick. Um, let's see. Since I don't think I'm going to be able to freeze you, I might as well just run up and kick you. She might have been power off just casting her magic spell, to be honest. Well, at least we timed that one correctly. Ah, scorched! Now I can't fight back. I like it. It's, it's a good thing when the enemy can't, you know, touch you. Okay. Back to trying to navigate this place. Ah, here comes some enigma I can't avoid. Ah, uh, there's only two on the bridge, but I gotta fight three of them. Well... Also in the first turn, first turn heating a blue frog here. I gotta make sure I have enough health to take these attacks. And since they're considered like a boss level opponent, or at least mid-boss, I'm going to bring in the Pterodons. Use the power of the Pterodactyl, you know, and try and wreak some havoc here. Ooh, not bad timing for that, to be honest. I'd rather not face off against their more um, powerful attacks if I can help it. I wish it would have happened after my turn, but... That's alright. Um, let's see. Ah, split. So that's considered back row right now, is it? Ah, shoot. Go after this one that's almost dead, or go after this one that has more hit points? Well, I'll focus one at a time right now. It's usually better, in my opinion, to knock off enemies one at a time, just so you don't have to worry about them hitting you for additional damage. Um, if you can help it. Ah, Celestial Swap. So who's gonna get moved? The Wind Planet? Wow, serious movement there. That was real worth the time and effort. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I probably could use something a bit more powerful, but... Eh, I ain't too worried about it. I was hoping for a Scorch, though. Well, here's what it is. I'll send him to the Briar Patch. Honestly, when starts me, that kills it. Well, let's see, I'll hit you with this. 
I really wish he had a bit more mana, but he's the most physical um, base unit in the entire um, game, basically, at least for your side. Let's see. I'll go with um, Falcon Dive. The other one puts me too much in the negative for um, cost benefits, in my opinion. At least against one opponent. Especially when I know that's not going to finish it off anyway. Um, let's see. I'll stick to the basic. I could zero Joker it, but that's way too much mana for something like this. Don't get me wrong, he's tougher, or she's tougher than the other two, but... Not so much so that's worth crying about. Ah, uh, I lost my power surge. That's all right. I'm willing to commit to that, though. An effort to try and speed this up just a little bit. Still hanging on, huh? Well, no. How about this? It really likes the abuse, I suppose. So it's all hard to know when it's about dead, considering it didn't show any real sign it was, um, on its knees there. Ah, here comes more of them. We are. Ah. Thanks, guys. Well, as well as we can be, um, on this planet. I'm guessing they escaped from Master Kale. And are hiding out in this cave for now. It's not going to hold them off for forever, though. And I doubt Kale really cares that much. Gasket, huh? Named after a car part. Interesting name. Basically, they have the book Ragweed. Undoubtedly. Well, even if you beat them, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to leave. Yep, they escaped. I'm aware. Hmm. Aha, an otter, huh? Hmm. But, there's way too many of them. We're a bit screwed. Ah, pot. They actually did take a few of those. I thought they left them behind. On the grounds they weren't important. I'm still saying this is their nominal leader. Carbon. You did, huh? What, did you see the future? Well, we already figured that much out. We were told you escaped, after all. Good luck with that. Only the wizards and witches of fate here can save the universe. Well, we'll have to stop the giant worm in time. I really gotta worry about Kale first, though. It could. It's getting close, alright. Yep. I will do that. That's cool. You'll know it when you see it. He's not joking about that either. If you stay there too long, he will turn into a gummy. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Yep. He's too old and worn. Great, the Enigmas are here, huh? Well, that one looks pretty powerful. Hmm. 
Yeah, come at me, bro. <sighs> Whatever. Fun with the others, huh? <sighs> They'll have to. I think I want to try and save Miss Madeline after all. You're right, we don't. Ah, the space police. Ah, General Knucklestorm's here. Good. They're actually using their forces for good for a change. That's good. Thanks, General Knuckle Storm, you're a cool guy. Well, now. Pretty sure if we go back this way, they magically vanished, maybe? Yep. So we actually warp back to the starting point, if we want to, which is a good thing, because I'd like to heal up. Yes, yes he has. Hmm. A fireball sandwich? Well, next time we'll be making our way to um, the Gummy Cave. I think I'm going to stop and try doing a little level grinding on the Enigmas and stuff back there and see if I missed any treasure chests because I think there might have been one on off the um, beaten path there too. Until next time then. See ya.